Tonight, a homecoming for a local hero committed to rescuing Americans in Ukraine. This just hours after the wife of the country's president spoke to members of Congress here in the U.S. pleading for more weapons and support in the fight against Russia. Local nonprofit Project Dynamo has been rescuing people from Ukraine since the war began. Yeah, they have rescued more than 2,000 people so far. And tonight, the leader of that group and one of the people he rescued are back on American soil. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido was there for their homecoming at Tampa International Airport. More than 200 rescue operations and hundreds of Americans later, Brian Stern, the co-founder of Project Dynamo and their leader on the ground in Ukraine, is back home in Tampa, and he didn't come home alone. After five months in Ukraine, these hugs mean the world. Feel great. Feel great. I've been on the road 156 days. Stern has been in war torn Ukraine since February. Before that, Project Dynamo was in Afghanistan trying to rescue any Americans left behind by the U.S. All these different stories are very sentimental to me because we're there with them. I'm not making phone calls coordinating rescues from my from my my house in Florida. We're on the street. As Russia continues fighting to capture more territories in Ukraine. Stern says the war will get worse before it gets better and more rescues need to be done. These people need help. 27 year old Kirillo Alexandrov is one of them. He and his family arrested and taken captive in late March. Kirillo is an escaped fugitive as we speak from Russian justice. He was not released. We stole him. I was in captivity 37 days, terrified, in pain, worried. Carrillo says people next to him were raped and he saw executions. Dynamo rescued him in early May, knowing he and his family are safe now. I still haven't processed it. I'm hoping I go to sleep and don't wake up in that closet. That's why Stern and his team stay on the ground. They've rescued nearly 4,000 people since February. They're Americans. I'm not leaving them behind. Now, this is not the end of the rescues for Project Dynamo. They're actually doing rescues on the ground right now as we speak. Brian tells me he'll be back in Ukraine sometime in August. In Tampa, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. Again, Project Dynamo is a nonprofit. They say the donations they've gotten have pushed them through and made all of this possible, but donations have slowed and they're asking for your help. We do have a link to their website on 10tampabay.com.